In today's media, the gender and sexuality of women are constructed in very specific ways. All women, regardless of race or ethnic background, are presented as hypersexualized females in most forms of media, but especially in television programs. The images of white women are shown in all different roles. Yet, while white women are open to a whole range, women of color are put under narrower subsets. Based on our research, we have found that the hypersexualized images of women of color in television programs are shown according to class, gender, or body images, and as a result, are presented in a way that is more harmful than beneficial to society. We will be focusing on three categories, African American women and class, Latina women and body image, and Asian women and gender. Along with being gendered as hypersexualized, African American women in television programs are also portrayed according to class. Oftentimes, lower class African American women are perceived as frustrated with the lack of support from their male counterparts. Like Bell Hooks argued, lower class African American women are shown as only present to serve their families, which they are portrayed to be very bitter about. On the television show, Everybody Hates Chris, Rochelle is the strict sassy mother who runs the household, and in the following clip, she is venting to her husband about how she feels disrespected by her son Chris and neglected by the family as a whole. I care for this family, and what do I get in return? Just a full-scale mutiny led by a child who I bore for a man who's supposed to love and honor and protect me. You know, I thought we were all in this together, but you know what? I'm finding out now that I'm just by myself. In contrast, television programs portray upper-class African-American women as struggling to find a good man while at the same time conserving their independence. In the following scene on the show Girlfriends, Joan is upset to find out that her ex-boyfriend is ready to commit to and marry her best friend. One very short year ago, that was completely out of the question. What can I say? It's been a very good year. Why? Because you broke up with me? You broke up with me. Because you didn't want to get married. Well, no, not when it's being crammed down a brother's throat. I didn't want a ring. I was just looking for a little intent. This portrayal of African-American women is harmful to society because for people who have little interaction with African-American women, these television programs serve as the only representations they have of the black community. Latina women, along with being gendered as hypersexualized in television programs, are also presented with a huge emphasis on their body image. On the hit TV shows Modern Family and Desperate Housewives, Gloria and Gabrielle are always dressed up in tight outfits that emphasize their curves. Gloria's sauciness and thick accent are often played up, but her bombshell beauty and voluptuous body are the main components to her character. Well, I love watching you stir. Gabrielle, played by Eva Longoria, is portrayed as a lively, passionate woman and often appears vain and materialistic. Her fit, curvy body is always emphasized through outfits that are more revealing compared to the other housewives. In the following scene, Gabrielle is trying to fit into a skin-tight dress that is a little too tight for her curves. After 48 hours of crash dieting, Gabrielle prepared to savor the fruit of her labor. But she was dismayed to discover that she herself had ripened considerably. As a result, the characters are seen as targets of the gaze to please and satisfy viewers, which agrees with Laura Mulvey's argument that in film, women are looked at. The image that Latina women portray in TV is harmful to society because it only portrays the voluptuous bombshell beauty rather than all body types. Unlike the previous two categories, Asian women in television programs have managed to challenge the stereotype of being compliant and docile. Today's generation of Asian actresses are shown as strong, intelligent, and take charge women. This contradicts Jessica Hagedorn's theory that Asian women are portrayed in film and television as submissive doormats. She states that the Asian female roles are basically airheaded and subservient to men. As a result, television program's new portrayal of Asian women as strong and independent is beneficial to young Asian women in today's society. In the following scene from the television show Nikita, the heroine of the show is a butt-kicking bikini-clad CIA agent. Nikita. Yet like all women in television programs, Asian women are still shown as being hypersexualized. Girls, we run this mother.